everyone, thanks so much for being here. My name is Kat and I make houseplant videos here on Good and Planty. If you just know I'm too, absolutely love this video. Please consider liking it, commenting, subscribing, or following me on Instagram. All of these things help me grow my channel like a plant. Welcome back to another celebrity houseplants video. I am so excited to be back in this chair and reviewing celebrity houseplants. These are one of my favorite videos to make and you all seem to love them. If you are new to this series, basically I sit down and I watch Architectural Digest's open door videos where they take tours of celebrity homes and I kind of snoop around and see what houseplants are in their house and comment on them. Two quick housekeeping things though that I really want to point out before I jump into this video. One, I realize that a lot of these houses are staged before they go in and take footage of these houses. We're gonna strap on our little imagination hats and pretend that these celebrities own and care for maybe all of these um, houseplants that I'm gonna be talking about today. Two, <laughs> Architectural Digest actually started a very similar series to this. I don't know, nope, no comment. I realized that they have a very similar series, but I was here first, so I am not copying them. <laughs> so with all that being said, we are hopping into Nina Dobrev's house today. I have been watching Vampire Diaries all over again. It, it, I don't know, it's a guilty, like, uh, what? Guilty pleasure? And if you don't know Nina Dobrev, I will have pictures of her in Vampire Diaries. And that is it. We are ready to jump in. Let's go. <laughs> Well, hello, AD. I'm Nina. Welcome to my home. Hey, Maverick. Say hi to everyone at home watching. This is my puppy, Maverick. Right off the bat, this is very common in celebrity homes, I think, because they are all located in like the West Coast and in warm climates for the most part. Right off the bat, I'm seeing a lot of palms outdoors. That's not really anything crazy, but a lot of us have palms inside, so I'm just pointing that out. So I've had this home for about five years, and the house used to actually be like a yellowy mustard color, which was very typical for a lot of Spanish style homes, but I, I'd always wanted to paint it white. And for the first time I found myself having no excuse. And my boyfriend and I painted the whole exterior of the house ourselves and it took forever. Honestly, that makes me love her more because she could definitely afford someone to go paint that for her, but she did it herself. I think that's kind of cool. Okay, so we are in the first room. We are in the living room, or at least one of the many living rooms that celebrities seem to have. I am just, I know I already made a disclaimer, but to me, this room looks very highly staged. I can just tell by the perfect condition that these plants are in. I see another palm. So again, you can see that they are popular inside. I think that they probably do a bit better in a uh, areas that are warmer even if they are kept inside just because it's sunnier and palms like a lot of light. I think it's really well located because it's getting a lot of that natural daylight. I also see a little very lush Monstera Deliciosa in front of the fireplace. That looks staged to me but I, I really like the placement. I like how it balances out the green throughout the room. I think because of how large these windows are and how sunny this area probably is, I think that the placement is totally fine. It definitely gets enough light. And then all the way to the right, we have an elephant ear plant, which is a calicacia. I, first of all, I don't own any elephant ears, so it's kind of hard for me to speak from experience, which is what I try to do on this channel. From what I hear, they do better outdoors than indoors. Similar to a uh, caladium, I think. Seeing this in Nina's home, I do think it is a staged plant. I think it looks fantastic. It's huge. It really fills out the space. It balances out with 
the palm in the other corner and it is in a place where it gets tons of light which is very important for these plants again because of Nina's location I think she can get away with keeping plants like the palm and the calicacia in her home because it's probably a a bit more sunny throughout the day it's warmer maybe if she likes to keep the windows open it's also humid it looks fantastic i just don't think it's a good long-term choice and the whole house for the most part is light and airy and there's lots of fabrics with linens and the carpets and everything is just has like a light airiness to it but i wanted there to be bold statements that also contrasted the lightness Oh, I also see a very cute little Maranta on her fireplace. That looks really nice. Again, she's having a lot of plants that are high maintenance and very picky, so I don't think that they are probably hers because I'm assuming she is a very busy person. I don't know, they all look great and I think it's really cute. I like the balance of all the plants throughout the house. So that there's um, a lot of texture and feeling and, and sort of moodiness as well. There is not one crispy tip on that Maranta. There is no way. There is no way that's not staged. I don't care. Then in the other corner, I thought, sorry, I thought the calicacia was in, in the corner corner, but actually behind the calicacia is another plant. And that one is a little hard for me to tell. I believe that it is a ficus, a variegated ficus benjamina, otherwise known as the what is it? Uh, weeping fig trees. That's what it looks like to me, but I always <laughs> misname one plant in every single one of these videos. So if I'm incorrect, just let me know. Again, what I know from ficus is that they are hard to care for and they definitely need a lot of light, especially at that size, or they're gonna start to lose some leaves and get a bit leggy. These plants, although staged, I do have to give credit, are placed very well in terms of how to take care of them and what they need to thrive. Okay, not so brag about me and Nina Dobrev have the same toaster. That's it. <laughs> Now we're moving on to the kitchen. When I first bought the home, there was a wall that, defi that divided the uh, dining room space from the kitchen, but I really, really, really wanted to have an open concept space. So last year we knocked down the wall. Oh, actually, she has another plant tucked away and she has a Schifflera arboricola, I believe. Let me run it back. Yeah, she has a cute little Schifflera arboricola down there. That used to actually be right here. It was a huge wall. So we knocked it down and I really wanted to have an island space that I could entertain at. Okay, and then in the kitchen, we have a Dracaena over there. From what I can tell in the frame that I'm looking at, I think that's a Dracaena marginata, but again, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, sometimes it's kind of hard for me to see these. I do like the placement of that. It's, again, I don't know which direction these windows are facing. It probably wants like a hair more light, especially towards the bot, like the foliage towards the bottom of the plant doesn't look like it's getting a lot of light, but this house is very open, airy, and light, full of windows, so it might be okay. But I do love how there's little pom-poms kind of all the way up these trunks. I like to switch it up. My favorite thing to do is go to one of my cookbooks, close my eyes, open it, and sort of just like land on a page, and then whatever it is, I have to make it. I think I see Oh, there's a little basket of lavender. So yes, this house is clearly very staged. Um, and then I think that's a succulent to the right in that little trunk looking pot. I don't know, not much to say about it there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it is a bowl of artichokes. It is not a succulent. So we got these reclaimed terracotta tiles from Europe. Did someone say terracotta? <laughs> I literally cannot believe I thought that artichoke was a succulent. So this sculptural piece is actually a plant, but it looks like a piece of art. It's called Ikebana, and one of my friends, Myla, comes in and makes them for me every now and then. They're really, really, really beautiful. And add a centerpiece to a table that speaks for itself so that you don't have to have all the clutter. It's, it is everything you need and the only thing you need on a table, in my opinion. Wait, what is that? Ikebana? According to Wikipedia, that is the Japanese art of 
flower arrangement and it means it kind of translates roughly to arranging flowers or making flowers alive this is so interesting oh it's counted as one of the three classical japanese arts of refinement along with the word for incense appreciation and the word for tea and tea ceremony that's so interesting. Sorry, I feel like I could just go down a little rabbit hole right now, but I, I'll pull it back. It looks really, really beautiful in the home. Well, well, well. What do we have in the bedroom, everyone? A fiddly fig, <laughs> which is a running joke throughout all of my videos, but here it is again. Now we're in the room that I spend a lot of time in. This is my little movie room. Oh, okay, so in her little movie room, she has two birds of paradise plants. I think this is gonna be a callback to one of my other videos where I was talking about design with house plants and I was talking specifically about my plant shelf and one of the things I said was, even if you wanna create symmetry with two plants, it's almost impossible because you can get two of the same plants of about the same size, but they're just gonna grow differently. And that's one of the best parts of houseplants is that it's gonna always feel very lively and organic and fun. And I don't know why I get so excited about it, but I do. AD, thank you so much for coming. This has been real fun, but wine night is starting in about 20 minutes and I've got some girlfriends coming over, so I'm gonna have to say goodbye. Toodaloo! That was so sweet. I love Nina and a few of you actually suggested I do this specific video when it first came out because you all spotted all of the house plants. Those are all of Nina's house plants and I'm so curious to hear what you guys have to think. I hope you enjoyed this new episode of this little series that we're starting here on my channel. Please subscribe if you aren't subscribed already and you want to see more plenty content from me. Please check out my description box. I have a bunch of links and ways that you could support me and my channel if you want to. And that's pretty much it. Thank you everyone and I will see you in my next video. Bye! As always, huge thank you to all of my members. We also have some new ones, so thank you O'Neal, Val, Katrina, Audrey, Louie, Heather, underscore B, Jacqueline, Linda, Michaela, Brooke, Laura, Daniel, and Vanessa. You guys are the best and I'll see you in my next video.